What is up everyone, Griffin here coming at you with some Vodin gameplay and today we're going to be talking about Multi-Arrow Volden. Is this the way to play this character? Let's head over and let's talk about it. So as you can see here, this is the multi-arrow build that I have for Vodin here. Uh, and I'm going to explain this and I'm going to actually show it in practice. So we're going to run through this real quick. So basically at the start, I have spread the pain, which fires five arrows on charge. And then on full charge, on hit, slows enemies and gains focus. So that's level one and two. For level three and four, I have it dedicated specifically to the poison. So it throws the poisonous pro uh, projectile at a target area and it is now homing so that i can get a little bit more poison damage out of that i could have went with on direct hit buffs damage and applies heavy poison but i wanted it to be something that would be, do consistent tick damage over time with the level five and six ability uh, whenever you're in the puddle, you gain the, the jump buff benefits there. And then also whenever you create it, it um, pushes enemies and slows enemies in the area around you for the level seven and eight upgrade. I set that to the teleport to the decoy and then it does a small self heal there um, for nine and ten. We are looking at increases sprint speed and reduces sprint stamina cost and increases your maximum stamina and then for the talent that i'm going with i decided to give it to the poison spores so that it gives 15 percent more damage to allies within 10 meters four or five seconds and it also creates toxic area underneath self for seven seconds so you get a little bit more of a uh, aoe on yourself it's homing it's doing damage it also buffs your allies within 10 meters for five seconds so that it allows them to get more damage out so we're in the shooting range right now and this is what i was saying about the five arrow versus the solo arrow so whenever you have the solo arrow of course it builds up charge much faster to get that you know that maximum damage output right and it does 229 damage at a reasonable reasonable distance away right you don't really get any damage fall off if much at all with this it's very reliable it's very consistent it's very hit scanny kind of projectile at times but i do feel that multi-arrow comes out just a little bit better in some ways so with the multi-arrow it does take a little bit longer to charge up but you do shoot five arrows out in a very straight line. And the further away you are, the more it spreads out, right? There's definitely damage fall off whenever you use the five arrows. So if I come up here and I shoot pretty much point blank, doing 256 damage, which is a pretty significant damage output, whereas 198 from this distance here. Now, what I have noticed is it's all predicated on how many arrows actually hit your target so they're basically taking max that maximum damage and dividing it by five and applying that five you know that new damage value to each individual arrow so whenever you're shooting you get 198 because you're hitting all arrows you know 236 you're hitting all arrows whereas if you only hit one you're doing 29 damage if you only hit two you're doing 58 damage you know and it scales up from there depending on how big the target is and things like that now this is very very good as using it basically as a shotgun you run in you do some quick damage you're able to jump you're able to get some really good damage output but then also if you're very far away you may not do a ton of damage but you're doing a lot of wide damage here you're able to basically spread that damage out and if you're playing with characters that have deployables and that they're constantly dropping things on the battlefield you can spread that damage out and do consistent damage against all targets as opposed to consistently damaging one target only. And I'm not saying that this is the be-all, end-all way to play Voden. I know that there's a lot of really great players out there that play him with the, uh, the, the, the draw time cooldown and be able to maximize damage output in that way. But to me, whenever you're playing a character that can shoot five arrows horizontally, that can consistently spread that damage out in a very massive way, it's almost too good to be true. Now, 
Do I think that they should lower the damage? No, I don't think that that's the answer there. Do I think that they should do something different with the character or with the talent? I don't think so at all. I just think that it's a difference in play style. You want to play Voden a little bit more reserved and a little bit more precise, then you have that option there. Whereas if you want to play Voden a little bit more aggressive, basically as a shotgun, then you have that option there. You're able to do tons of damage real quick. And to me, it's almost interesting that they didn't give the draw time reduction to the five arrows since you're basically playing him as a shotgun character at that point you want to be able to pull it back faster so that you get more damage output faster but i understand why they kept it where you basically do one single target damage uh very very quickly and you're able to keep that up just more and more over and over and over again to me, this is my preferred way to play it, though. I basically hit him with the right click. It's homing. It does 250 damage, and then it starts doing tick damage. And then I use my primary attack as a way to continuously dish out additional damage to keep characters in combat so that they don't start regenerating their health. Now, like I said, you can, and there's a lot of a lot of times in the video that that's playing underneath this, where I've got characters to one shot, and if I if I was using the other build to where I was having more consistent and precise damage, then I would have been able to net more kills, and that's absolutely correct. But on a lot of the smaller maps, on maps that have a lot of verticality, on maps, especially when you're playing against characters that drop stuff out constantly, that attacks you, then this is the way to go. You're able to spread that damage out. You're able to get consistent damage. And from what I've learned playing Gigantic is, sure, there's a difference between 200 damage and 58 damage. But the main thing is keeping damage on that person so that they're still in combat, so that they can't be you know out of combat healed so that you can not have to worry about them popping out with a little bit more health than they had before and it does allow you to shoot around some nifty boxes and things like that um, a lot of the character models are bigger than some of the cover that's spread out throughout the game so whenever those opportunities arise you're able to j basically shoot all the arrows at one one target or one box and nine times out of ten, one of those arrows is going to pixel hit one, you know, somewhere on that character and still do damage. You're able to do it at a safe distance away. It feels really good when it happens, and it's very, it's a very interesting dynamic that the character has. But be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. What is your preferred way of playing Voden? And if it was up to you, would you make any changes to the character or to the build that I'm personally using? Um, if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed to the channel, then consider hitting that join button to become one of the 256 crew members. Lastly, on Thursdays and also on Sundays, I will be streaming here on YouTube. So if you are interested and available, please feel free to stop by and say hello there. Also, very sorry, I'm sick, a little under the weather here. That's why I haven't released any videos uh, and I'm still currently trying to recover. So thanks for being patient with me. Have a good one, guys.